If you or someone you know has diabetes, you may have built up an excess supply of test strips and lancets. That's where we come in. We'll buy the supplies that you don't need and resell them to those in need to prevent waste. Help us make diabetes management more affordable. Visit us at teststripswithaz.com. All right, we have Kevin Holland on the show, as we found out earlier this week. He's going to be stepping in to face Eric Spicely, or excuse me, replacing Eric Spicely to yeah. face Brendan Allen at UFC Boston on October 18th. So much movement going on right now. It's hard to keep yeah. track of everything, but I'm happy to have the Trailblazer here on the program. How are you, Kevin? Hey, I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm doing uh, actually fantastic. I'm over here at the Way In Trex KO. We just got done with the Way In Trex KO, so constantly on the fight scenes. You know what I mean? Constantly dealing with the fight life. Yeah, so uh, doing great, man. Happy. Big card coming up for XKO. What are some of the big fights you're looking forward to seeing? Ah, uh, man, we got a couple teammates that were supposed to be on the card. We got one that got scratched. I guess some guy wasn't taking care of his business. And then um, we got another one, uh, Joel Guzman. And then looking forward to the main event. You know, uh, that's going to be fun. Battle for the baddest bitch in Texas. <laughs> People say people say that sort of the the regional scene in Texas is a little dry right now. It sounds like that is that is not really the case. How would you how would you look at it in terms of what the regional MMA scene looks like down there? Man, you know what? It's all right. It's never it's never dead in Texas. You know what I mean? It's uh it's pretty good. Um, I know we I know we got some up and comers on there that are actually going to be some pretty good stars. 55, 70, and 85. Um, we got some guys, man, and we got some girls, that's for sure. So, uh, you know, whoever said it was dead, tell them come see me. I'll fix that. <laughs> so let's talk about you, man. How did this all happen? I mean, we heard Spicely was out over the weekend. You had a fight scheduled for November 16th in Brazil against Antonio Royo, And now you end up coming to the City of Champions in a couple of weeks to fight Brandon Allen. How did this all happen? So, uh, yeah, so pretty much my manager just hit me up like, hey, uh, they need somebody to fight Brandon Allen. Uh, October 18th, Boston card, the card you originally wanted to be on. Do you want it? I said, yeah, I'll take it. He was like, just like that. You're not going to look up any video or nothing. I said, bro, you must have forgot. We were supposed to fight Brandon Allen, you know, in Louisiana, you know, downtown Coca-Cola's, you know, for Trump change, you know, for an LFA belt. Now we get to go fight Brandon Allen in Boston and have a Boston Tea Party, a.k.a. the Boston Massacre when I whoop this boy. So, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm for it. You know what I mean? I was going to fight him for a couple grand. Now I get to fight him for a lot more than a couple grand. Yeah. <laughs> so was it, me. was it Boston? Was it the name itself that, that drew you to it more? Or was it just a combination of the two? Everything just sort of lined up perfectly for you. Yeah, Boston fans may get mad at me for this, but you know, it is what it is. I'm a Laker. You know what I mean? I'm a Laker fan. I, I bleed purple and gold, but, uh, you know, we know, you know where the rivalry is. And anytime a, a team as good as ours has a rival, that means that team has to be great as well. Right. So, yeah, of course. I fought in L.A. at the Staples Center. Now I get to fight in Boston growing up, you know, listening to my grandpa always talk about those rivalries and seeing a couple of them myself. You know, dreams come true, and I'm, I'm glad to do that. I feel like Kobe, game seven, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna forget you said all of that being a Celtics <laughs> fan, but it's all, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> uh, I, I think one of the questions I have and people have had when it comes to this move is – whether or not you're still going to be fighting next month in Sao Paulo. Like, has that been discussed at all? Like, if all goes well, you come out of this thing relatively unscathed, you'll still turn around and fight in Sao Paulo as well? So it's not up to me, right? It's not up to me. That's what they say. But we all know if I go out there and I perform right, it can be up to me. You know? Uh, so, yeah. I mean, that's the kind of fighter I am. I'd rather fight a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I idolize Donald Cerrone because he fights a lot. You know, when I was on a local level, I fought a lot. You know, and uh, if there was anything dry about Texas, it'd be because these guys don't fight a lot. I do, you know, and so, uh, yeah, if I can go do that and then backdoor and go to November, yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> My birthday is November 5th, so I'll probably blow that whole October 18th check right then and there. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you've won three in a row and things are really interesting at 185 right now. Probably as interesting as it's, it's, it's been in a long time. A lot of movement. There's a lot of new faces climbing the ladder, yourself yeah. included. Some older faces are out of the division altogether. Now is the time to, to sort of make the move and get on everyone's radar while everything else at the top sort of sorts itself out. Is that fair to say? Is that part of this process as well in terms of staying active and getting as many fights as possible? Yeah, that's 100% uh, accurate because it's like this. At the end of the day, if I can get active right now, that'd be awesome because we all know if Israel Sanya wins, uh, Dana White said that he can fight John Jones. So that means our division gets put on hold for a little while. 
It's a wonderful fight. Whoever says they don't want to see that fight, they're not a fight fan. I'm a fight fan. I don't mind. I'm also a businessman. So then again, I don't mind. Because when it's all over, said, and done, and I get back to it, I'm going to hit them hard. You know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely, definitely ready for it. I know you and Brendan were supposed to fight for, like you said, for Coca-Cola's back in the day, and now you're fighting in Boston for a lot more money in a couple weeks. Yeah. You know, in, in terms of the matchup stylistically, how do you like it stylistically? How familiar are you with, with Brendan's style? So, I've seen Brendan Allen fight a lot on the local level, and uh, so I got everybody clowning me right now. Somebody just pulled up on a bike on me, a lady, and then just drove off. So, they're making fun <laughs> of me right now. Um, yeah, so Brendan Allen on a local level, I watched him quite a bit. I mean, he's fought for the LFA belt. Four times, got it on the fourth try, not the first try, not the second try, not the third try. So if we're talking baseball, three strikes, he was out of there. They gave it to him on the fourth try, then he so happened to get a contender fight, then he so happened to get in the UFC. Look, I don't know, that season that I was fighting for a contender, it was kind of rough to get on there. You know, I feel like the last season that just came by, I feel like he was a, uh, like Dan was a little nicer this season, which is great because I like, you know, more fresh blood inside the UFC. But when it comes to him, I've been watching him for a while. I've seen him choke several times. I'm surprised that he pulled off the contender fight with the guy he was fighting. He's kind of like a bum, like the one I fought for the contender, you know, so no problem there. But, uh, nah, he choked UFC debut. So I'm glad it's Eric Spicely not beating him. It's me, you know. And Eric Spicely was, was a good fight for him, you know, kind of an easy fight for him because uh, Spicely's not, uh, not that athletic, you know. Pretty good grappling, but he's not that athletic. Brandon Allen has pretty good grappling. I'm athletic. I have a good grappling. I can strike. I can do everything. I just can't fucking wrestle. So, you know, let's fight. It is what it is. You take me down, I'll stand back up, and I'll smack you a couple times. Smack, man. Let's scrap in Boston, baby. That's that's what we do here in Boston. Uh, I know you're not looking past Brennan here, but I had heard when I reported that Darren Stewart was fighting Deron Wynn, you were a little bummed by that news because Darren was a guy that you were looking at. Is that a part of this decision as well, to sort of get in front of these other guys and say, you know what, I'm here now, I'm fighting on the same card as you. Make sure you keep me in the back of your minds, gentlemen. No, no, not at all, not at all. When it comes to when it comes to Darren Stewart and, and all those other guys in the division, you know, if I'm calling your name, it's, it's probably because I think that me and you would be a fun fight. I have no feelings towards none of these guys. I don't even know them, you know what I mean? Sure. But if they can start to bicker or start to say things the wrong way, I might hold it personal, you know? But if I hold things personal, you're not going to like it, you know what I mean? Because you do come to the States, and I do get active. So it is what it is. So it's more of a competitive thing. You just want yeah, you think just, it'll be fun. Just competing, just competing, just competing. You know? Potential bonus money. Yeah, I like potential bonus money is exactly what I want. You know, there you go. who doesn't want extra 50 G's, baby? <laughs> is this going to be your first time in Boston? First time in Boston. Yes, yes, yes. UFC is doing a lot of firsts for me, and I'm, dude, I'm blown away by this. This is awesome for me. Did you get any feet? I, I know you had posted on Facebook looking for things to, to check out, things to do yeah. in Boston. Did you get any feedback? I have a girl cousin, uh, actually, like one of my favorite cousins, man, and she's out there. She lives out there. She actually got married not too long ago. Her and her husband's out there. She's actually still in college. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to meeting up with them. They're going to show me around and show me what to do. So, and that's going to be a blast. At the very least, you get to get that championship field that the city provides. There's just so many titles yeah, won know, in Boston. I mean, the banners you know, are going to be above your head in the garden as a Laker fan. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to feel yeah. about that. It's going to be like a Staples Center reunion. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's all it's going to be. Like I said, game seven, baby. You know, Magic Johnson or uh, Kobe Bryant. You know, I'm, I'm going to be like that. You know what I mean? I'm going to give Boston something to cheer for. That's for sure, though. And I'm going to give them they, they do respect because they, they deserve it. How did you enjoy watching the NBA last season as a Laker fan? I liked it. I liked <laughs> it. Every, every once in a while, you got to know what it feels like to lose. That way you, know what it, you remember what it feels like to be a champion. You know what I mean? That's anybody, important. Anybody who hasn't never tasted, tasted the L, they wouldn't know what it feels like. But unless you're Floyd Mayweather, you know, you probably tasted the L. So <laughs> and you got to You got to go through that sometimes, too, because I can't tell you how many times like if I'm traveling and, and I say, you know what, I'm from Boston. Oh, you're a Patriots fan. Yeah, I'm a Patriots fan. Oh, you're a yeah. bandwagon guy. I was like, listen, bro, I was there for the one in 15 crap fests before Belichick, yeah. before Bledsoe, before Bill Parcells. I was there for the Scott Zolak days. Yeah. You know, you got to yeah, go through gotta that. You got to be there for the dark ones. You got to be there for the dark ones. That way, you know, the good ones is, is that what's more memorable. You know what I mean? Because, you know. Um, you know, when you're winning, they're going to talk about you hard when you're losing. But when you're losing, they're going to be quiet when you're winning. So, you know, it's good It's good to be the person that, you know, they they, they happy when you lose because they already know you're going to win every time. So, you know, I'm going into this Brandon Allen situation, about to get a four or five win streak after I beat him up. So, I'm happy. All they're going to know about me is I'm winning. <laughs> How do you see this all playing out on October 18th? 
man, he's going to press for takedowns. He's going to put pressure. He tried to say, uh, bring your, I'm going to bring my running shoes so I know your style. Yeah, okay, bring your running shoes. You're going to run into this, you're going to run into that, and then you're going to drop on the floor, and you're going to get hit with this, and you're going to get hit with that. And if you think you can grapple, I can grapple too. So it's like, at the end of the day, wherever Brandon Allen thinks the fight may go, just know that I could probably finish you there too. So, you know, it's your ass, Mr. Postman. Well, I don't want to keep – it's a beautiful day. I'm very envious of you where you're at in Texas right now because it's Thank cold, you, it's rainy, it's crappy here. So we're going to let you go. Get on your bike and enjoy a nice ride in Texas. But before we let you go, man, just let the folks know where they can find and follow you on the web, social media, any shout-outs, anything you want to get off your chest, the floor is yours. Yeah, man. So uh, all my sponsors, everything you guys need to know about me is going to be on Instagram, trailblaze 2 top or Facebook. Just good old Kevin Holland, you know what I mean? Usually the guy with the afro on there or a hat to the back like I got now. You know, so uh, be looking out for your boy, Kev. But trailblaze to the top on Instagram and Twitter. That's where I like to be at most of the time. Awesome, Kevin. Thank you for the time, man. Enjoy the nice weather. We'll see you in Boston in a couple weeks. Yes, sir, man. Thank you very much.